Hi. Um, I have been in the field for about 10 years now, uh, over a decade. Um, started uh, working with IBM, worked with Amazon, Microsoft. Uh, was working at Pepperfry prior to this, uh, setting up the back-end development, um, data science, analytics teams there. Um, and since the last three years, been working with uh, Shadi.com. I head the data science analytics uh, teams at Shadi.com. Uh, so yeah, it's been uh, an interesting uh, journey. I also uh, teach at an institute. Uh, I basically take courses in machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing. Um, consult with a few startups around data strategy, product, business strategies, and stuff. So. So yeah, so. so a lot of different uh, technologies that we use for a, for a variety of problems that we face at Shadi.com. So there is, uh, we use, largely we use Python um, along with uh, Keras and TensorFlow in uh, some cases uh, have even experimented with PyTorch. Uh, we have uh, largely deployed all of this on AWS. Uh, we use Redshift extensively, which is uh, AWS's data warehouse uh, for a lot of our uh, data uh, pre-processing requirements. Um, and of course, there is, uh, you know, uh, Spectrum and S3, again, AWS services uh, to do a lot more data pre-processing and uh, data uh, engineering stuff. Um, and a variety of different problems, uh, starting from uh, let's say identifying uh, fake profiles, right? That's that's one uh, key uh, area that we are focused on. Um, how do we minimize the the number of uh, fake profiles, fraudulent profiles on our platform? Uh, there is also uh, things around recommendations. How do we give better recommendations to people? How do we make sure that they have uh, a good experience on on Shadi.com? use a variety of different techniques uh, from standard machine learning, statistical analysis to uh, deep learning, um, work on structured and unstructured data, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of text that we do uh, natural language processing on, there is uh, a bunch of images that we run uh, computer vision models on, so kind of across the board. So uh, MLDS this time, I'm going to talk about uh, advances in recommender systems. Uh, now, recommender systems is one area in machine learning, deep learning, AI, whatever you choose to call it, that hasn't, uh, that is kind of undervalued. Um, there's a lot of potential and there's a lot of value that it has also brought about. Um, so my talk today is more around just giving people a glimpse of uh, what all has been happening in the field of recommender systems over the past uh, two, three, four years, um, and focusing specifically on how deep learning is being applied uh, to recommender systems and how this is benefiting various companies and organizations uh, to to give uh, you know a better experience to their users and uh, to earn more money. So, um, so I think it's it's. Uh, even now, right, there is a huge uh, demand supply skew in terms of uh, machine learning engineers, deep learning engineers, right. Uh, there are a lot of machine learning engineers, engineers per se, and deep learning engineers, like people who like to call themselves machine learning and deep learning engineers. But, but when you go out there to look for quality, uh, that is, uh, there is a severe dearth of it, right. And so there is a huge requirement. Uh, from various companies, uh, machine learning and deep learning are getting more and more integrated into every um, sector, every domain, right? This is kind of similar to uh, how at one point of time, right, uh, computers and IT uh, and software got integrated into every domain, right? Today you see software um, running educational institutes and hospitals and things that, you know, probably 30 years back nobody had thought of. and uh, Machine learning, deep learning, data science is kind of following a very similar trajectory. Um, and it is getting integrated into various domains, uh, domains that people didn't even think about. Uh, and uh, as more and more companies um, take up the data science, machine learning trend, right, want, try to ride the wave, 
right? Uh, there will be more and more need uh, for developers uh, in this field, um, and it is critical for developers to to build quality uh, in this field. Yes, there is a severe disbalance. Honestly, there's a severe imbalance, uh, if I may, and it's. Uh, yeah, I mean, as a community, we need to encourage more and more women uh, to to come and join uh, this field. Uh, I, I believe uh, Analytics India is hosting a conference for women in data science, and that's that's a great step. Uh, we do need uh, more and more uh, diversity, um, you know, in in the developers, uh, in the practitioners of of data science. Um, great. Uh, there is there is a huge crowd. It's it's a really nice venue. Uh, wonderful arrangements. Uh, a bunch of pretty interesting research papers. So um, I, I I believe that is something that wasn't there last time. So that's that's a great initiative, uh, in my opinion, uh, to to in, involve more uh, research into the the day to day practitioners uh, this thing. And uh, as well, there is uh, mentoring sessions and stuff. So, so uh, uh, a hackathon and all of that. So it's 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 a pretty nice uh, array of events um, and a nice place for an ML practitioner to be.